Hello everybody, my name is Luke Marr and this is Hot in the Mode and today on Hot in the Mode we are coming to you with a Say Yes to the Dress reaction video which I know we all love to do. This time around we are reacting to celebrity Say Yes to the Dress wedding dresses. I thought it would be a fun idea, you know what I mean? I like the idea of celebrities picking out their dresses on Say Yes to the Dress. Some of these celebrities I think were famous beforehand, others might have not been famous beforehand. And also the use of celebrities allows me to wear my little star jacket. It's stars and we're watching stars, so it all comes together, you know what I mean? So without further ado, let's get into this reaction. All right, so let's watch Dance Moms Jill help her daughter Riley find her dream dress. Now here's the thing, I just wanna say, I know some people are gonna be like, what is Dance Moms? I need you to all understand that like, Dance Moms is my Roman Empire. If there is something that I'm thinking about at any point in the day, it's probably Dance Moms. It's like my comfort show that I enjoy very much. So digging into, diving into, understanding who everybody is, I want to know because I truly think that, because I truly think that it is one of the best reality TV shows ever produced. The idea of a grown woman screaming at small children about their dancing and then their mothers fighting on behalf and behest of them. It being real, it's not just like a written scripted TV show, is an amazing concept. It's awful what happened on the show, but I have to say it's some of the best TV because you couldn't write it. You couldn't dream that people would say the things that they would say about and to and in front of each other and in front of children. That's why I love Dance Moms. I love Jill. I think she's a star. I know who Riley is because, again, invested. I know the main cast and characters, but I also know supporting cast and characters as well, okay? So, without further ado, let's get into it now that I have showed my ass about how much I love Dance Moms. My youngest daughter and I were on dance. Kendall and Jill Vertez. Kendall was eight years old. She's 18 now. Yeah, that's wild. Kendall's a dancer because of Riley. Wow. Okay, so Riley is the OG trauma point. If you got it, you got it. Riley yeah. has always been the goody two-shoes. She always followed the rules, listened to mom and dad. She's just my good kid. She's not my favorite kid. Get your finger out of my face. I was in high school and like me and my dad would watch it because we both love good reality TV. And like that is a man who's been watching The Real Housewives for a very long time. And he was like, this is fantastic quality fights because it was deranged. Here for Rye. We gotta find her a dress. Not new. A dress or two. One. Or two. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Well, she wants to do two looks. T so I do want two. Jill knows. Jill knows. Jill knows. Two looks. Love that. Dress and like an overskirt for gotcha. the ceremony. Take it off for the reception. My fiance okay. is changing his suit jacket. So I want to have two looks as well. You can't be upstaged by the groom. I mean, you can be, but like, will we all respect you after it? I'm kidding, that's a joke. Obviously, if your groom wants to turn looks, we love that for him. My fiance's name is Cade McClure. He's like a big teddy bear. He's six foot seven. He's actually a professional Damn. baseball player. We met at the University of Louisville. Louisville. I was on the dance team. He was a baseball player. And to be honest, Makes I sense. didn't want to date him at first, but I let him take me out to ice cream and I like kind of accidentally fell in love with his personality. We really clicked. Aww. Yes. <laughs> I was completely shocked. It's my favorite day. He's really a good guy, and that's what, what counts. I have Aww. fallen in love with Martina Liana, but I'm kind of deciding if I want to go the beads and glam and lace route or something super like simple, chic, all satin, plain. Okay, Riley. Riley knows. Riley knows what she wants. She knows what she needs, and I respect that. She's come in prepared. She's Googled dress silhouette on Google and it's come up all wedding dresses. You know, she knows her fabric. She's taught, you know, I'm into that. I did like this. Really pretty. It'll look good on your body. I like It'll look it. Good on your I... Uh, come on, Jill. Give me, give me good TV. It's Empire Ways. Yeah. I thought it was Empire at first too, but it's actually not because Empire is really like at the bust and falls down. So it's just high-waisted, I would say, no? Yeah, I don't love that. Cuts that too high. Right. You know, we want something to show off her, her shape. Me. Okay. And I'm not sure, because she's kind of short-waisted. <laughs> this is what I mean. Jill's great TV. Like, she knows what she's giving. I do want to try it, yeah. Okay. I'm just not sure that's her. <laughs> 
I'm obsessed. So you guys can look around. I am going to take Riley with me to the back. Perfect. So we'll be back soon. All right. See you later. I'm so excited. I, I think the poor thing, I've micromanaged her my whole life, her whole life. So I think she really does want to please me. And I think she'll trust my opinion. But we'll have to wait and see on that. The other thing, too, is I think once you do reality TV, because, again, like, gotten into deep into it. Not that I've done reality TV, but there's that element of, like, producing yourself. You need to give something in order for them to make a storyline. So, like, that is what a lot of the show is. I understand reacting to that, but, like, at the same time, you're reacting to the character that is presented. And I think Jill understands giving good TV. So, like, I feel like in the grand scheme of things, Jill probably does not actually care. But for this... Jill cares. And again, now you're understanding why I'm so deep into Dance Moms is not only do I love the fact that they said all these horrible things to each other, but also the element of them producing themselves. I didn't know that reality TV was produced, honestly, until I started to get really into the fact that Dance Moms was produced. I'm giving you a lot, but this is the truth. Really elegant, right? I like this. It looks really nice on her. I don't know if I'm loving this, though. I also don't personally, personally, just love the transition from sheer bodice to the opaque. I just think it's like a harsh line. I saw this dress online before I came. I knew I wanted to try it on, but I haven't gotten that it's the one feeling. Okay, fair. I really just want to know. The second I put it on, I want to know that this is the dress. Okay, let's try something different. I respect that. Riley needs my mom's opinion, and my mom does have a lot of opinions. She'll definitely listen to mom if she doesn't like the dress. It's really dramatic. I like drama. You like drama, well, right? Doesn't like drama. <laughs> She's not a drama queen like you guys. Hey. Uh, eight. Oh, I like the bow at the back. That's very sweet. The neckline. The V. But it loves. It looks beautiful on her. Yeah, I love the little bow. I think it's so cute. And the buttons is really nice. Okay, interesting. So it's giving you like a little bit of like Sabrina overskirt, but it's not fully an overskirt, you know, kind of petty skirt moment where it's covering the whole thing. It's just sort of accentuating the sides and the back of the dress. Oh, that is pretty. I like that reaction. Yeah, it looks, it is a beautiful little dress. It's a big skirt. It makes it a big skirt. So I don't love this band with the skirt. Yeah, I agree. You get a little bit of gems. Oh, yeah. If she wants the belt for the whole night, we can sew it into the dress. Oh. I love it. I do. Come on, Jill. I know that me and Jill are in the same wavelength. I love this. And we're feeling like Jill's going to have something to say about the belt. This dress is what I dreamed of. Kelsey, do people wear silk gloves ever? Oh, yikes. <laughs> mm. I love the bow. I do love the bow. It's solid. But my question is, like, the bow itself, it seems like it was something you could attach to the back of the dress. Like, would you leave the bow on while the overskirt's on top of it? Because, like, I wouldn't do that only because I feel like that would then kind of crinkle the bow over time because the weight of the skirt, I know it's probably not that, that heavy, but that would stress me out. Oh, my God. Oh my so God. Whereas I know the bow, if it's sitting somewhere else and, like, dry cleaned, and then it comes right out of the wrapping and is put on my back after I take off the skirt, I know that it looks good. It's so, like... I don't know. Oh, I mean, all on the back like this. I love it. I love it so much. I saw you start crying, so I started crying. <laughs> the wow factor, everything that sparkle. she could win. And a veil. For sure. I Just to get the full. Are you ready for it? I think I want to scream. Scream. Yeah, no, no veil yet. Scream, scream, scream. Good TV. Good TV. Good TV. <gasps> my mom is not completely sold on it. And my heart drops because I don't think I could say yes to a dress knowing that she doesn't completely love it. Jill, uh, it's giving season five, six, seven. Mom? What? It cuts right yeah. here a little. There is petticoat underneath. We can remove some of this to make the flare softer. I think Riley is curvy as it is, mm -hmm. and I think a mermaid dress kind of adds to some of those curves, and I would hate if someday she looked back 10 years from now at the pictures and thought, oh gosh, mom, my thighs. You're making her rethink the dress. Yeah. It, you need to think about Jill. Yeah. Not what mom I know. I know, but, but mom knows best. Jill. See, she's producing. She's producing herself, and she's doing a very good job. And she was okay with the mermaid cut. You're the one who added some input on You're that. You're making her double think. If she loves it, I will love it. I just want her to be happy because originally she said no mermaid but dress she and wants here you, she is in a mermaid she wants dress. She you to be happy. I, well, I want to be happy too. too. I know. From here, it's kind of tricky because we're already eliminating anything that's too much of a mermaid flair because mm. Riley's mom, Jill, does not love the trumpet. 
So that's eliminating a lot of fitted dresses already. I think this is a good one. Yeah, I guess a mermaid, because mermaid is shorter, I believe. The, the flare is at the knee-ish area, whereas a trumpet, I think, is like mid-thigh. Trumpet is always going to be more dramatic, but the mermaid, I would say, accentuate the hips more, which is what Jill was talking about. It's a different fabric, which we haven't tried. Okay. And this is the only fabric that really is going to fall straight. So if her mom hates the trumpet, this is the only other fabric option. Anything that's not going to have the trumpet. I'm screaming at the Kelsey headband. It's taking me out. I love it. Didn't think I was going to love this one, but I actually, I like it. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not completely sold. I don't think it's like bad, but again, I think that yeah, no. me. I think it does the same thing that the last one did. Booby. Oh, not at all, Jill. It's not booby whatsoever. Yeah. She wants you to change your answer. No, honey, she knows me better than that. Maybe put on gloves to make her happy. Okay. <laughs> the gloves. Would that sell it for you? Oh, I I do. I love that dress. I love it. I think it looks so good on her. It's so beautiful. Just got to get mom on board. Oh, here she comes. Yay. I love it. Isn't it a breath of fresh air? I really air? do. It really is. I love it. I don't love the, the bling, but I do. I love the, the dress. It's it beautiful so on her. It is so beautiful. And it's so, so easy much. and simple and clean. Yeah, it's Gorgeous. Mom? But what? No. She no. wants to see no. That's how it photographs and you to see it, if you're going to be happy with it. It literally looks oh, white, white. I love white. it in pictures. Do you see how it cuts right there? Yeah. Oh, you don't like gel. how it cuts there? No, I, I do, honey. I want. No, I, don't, I, I wanted I don't you to see it. it to make sure. I do understand what she's doing because I do think it's smart and I do think it's something that if we're being upfront and honest with each other, you don't really know what you look like in photos and videos until you're taking the photos and the videos. So like you can look amazing in it in person. You can look at yourself in the mirror and say, oh my God, I look stunning. And then you see a picture of yourself and you're like, oh God, what have I created? What monster is this? That happens to me all the time. There is this thing about like the camera and the way that it changes and morphs the body due to proportions and the way photos are shot and stuff like that. Understand what Jill's saying. And I also think as somebody that she said that she shot 200 episodes of Dance Moms, it's like you understand at a certain point what is going to look good, what makes sense, what can work for you. Because I know that for me, I can wear this jacket here. But if I were to wear this jacket out and about, it might not look as good because in reality, standing up is going to be different than sitting down. And some of you might even say, Luke, that jacket looks terrible on you sitting down. Don't wear it standing up. And that could also be true. But I do understand what she's doing. And I do think it's smart. But I also understand where it can definitely bring out somebody's insecurity about something that they really like. I just feel like you aren't 100% yet. I'm going to get the designer on FaceTime because I think she'll be perfect to answer any questions that Jill has. Hi, Martine. Can you see me? Hi. I hope you're doing well. I'm dead. I am. I miss you guys. Riley's mom is nervous about where this dress breaks, but it's really a great look and a great modern silhouette because it breaks above the knee, which is so nice for brides to be able to walk and move all night in the dress. Yeah. And still get a little extra drama. That makes sense. I have a very special guest here. I also feel like Kelsey really, like, she knows what she's talking about. I like listening to her. I'm enjoying. Are you saying yes to the dress? Yay, good. Okay, wonderful. Yay, happy. Life is good. My dance mom's journey is fulfilled. We live, we laugh, we love. <sighs> That's nice. Happy for them. All right, so let's watch This Real Housewife star is looking for the perfect dress. Across the salon, Jenny's meeting Ashley. Oh, and Ashley. My... Okay, so Ashley Darby, Real Housewives of Potomac. Love, love a Potomac. It's very good. Solid show. Really enjoyable. Is very excited. Dead set on a dress. Hi, also, hi. this must have been filmed a long time ago, just because like the lighting. Let's Jenny, see. Nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. Congratulations. My name is Ashley Bulge. I'm looking for a halter neckline. I guess she was not yet Ashley Darby. She was, this was before the wedding. That makes sense. But I assume that she didn't get married. I don't think she got married on the show. So I'm pretty positive she was already married. Also, I'm pretty positive this is the husband that everybody was like, he's a bit because halter tops make you look taller. Hi, everybody. This is my mom. Love is Sheila. Sheila. Jenny, nice, nice to, to meet you. you. I have this dress in particular that okay. I absolutely love. Okay. It's called the Electra, and okay. it is everything that I want So this dress. is what you're thinking. 
And that's what I see okay. myself in on my wedding day. She pulls out her phone and shows me a picture of a dress that we don't have. Mm. Yikes. Is the neckline like a requirement? Yes. All right. See, so you're giving me some inspiration here. <laughs> Smart. Go into it, knowing what you want. I have a ceiling of 10,000. Okay. My budget for my dress today is 10,000. 10 is a lot. Um, and my fiance Tens is paying a... for it. Good chunk. Here we go. Ready? Right. Yes. Come with me. Okay. All right. Good luck, Ashley. Bye bye. Ashley's mind is set on the dress she thinks is the one. The halter really does elongate okay. me, makes me look taller. Halter is very scary to me to Why hear you that? say that because there's just not really a lot in terms of bridal halter neck. Interesting. I don't know, I guess, when this was filmed, but I feel like now there's a lot more halter bridal styles, a lot. Maybe it's only I'm seeing them in like lookbooks and things like that, but I feel like I do see a decent chunk. Out of 1,500 wedding dresses, we have maybe a handful that are halters. We're gonna show you what we brought. They're kind of all over the place. They are. Which one speaks to you? <sighs> that one right there. Oh, I like that though. I think that's really pretty. It looks beautiful on her. I like a cowl. A cowl always reminds me of like Alexander McQueen. Like I just think they are really gorgeous and they are they dip and they plunge and they flow really beautifully. Just a tad risque. I love this dress. I like the whole dress. It's, oh, it's sequin. Well. I didn't know the that. Dress is I don't love the sheer panels. I understand the need for the sheer panels. I just don't love Definitely them. Sexy. That's very important. Also, I would assume that when this was filmed, the idea of color matching to a skin tone that isn't white probably was not really a thing that anybody was thinking of. I mean, they should have been thinking of it. I just assumed that they probably weren't thinking about it. And so I think that also might be a little bit of the issue for me. Nobody is sold on a sequin cowl. I mean, the skirt's beautiful. Okay. The dangle? To me, in my mind, the first thing I see is big, big glitter dick. Oh, I don't love, I do not love, I don't like that dress. The, oh, the, the empire bling. What do you think? This is definitely similar to what I have in mind. No, no, it's not good. It's beachy and it has- Not understanding. Smell. Oh, they took the big, the dig glitter dip down. So that's good, in the front at least. You can always just take this off too. I do like it though, I really do. Yeah, yeah. but do you really like your fiance? Do you love him? I <laughs> love him. That's a good question, Randy. Like, you wanna love it. Yeah. Randy said no, this is not, in fact, the moment. Ashley's still fixated on the dress in her picture. I mean, it's really pretty, but again, like you want what you want. I get that completely. Yeah, no. My hopes were so high, and then to not find the dress that- Oh, sad. You'll never be satisfied until you try this dress on. Right. Ashley eventually tracked down the halter neck gown from her picture. I get it. She said no. She said no to the dress. It doesn't happen all that often, but I respect it. You know what I mean? You got to go for what you want. Randy's right. And I think that's the mark of a good salesperson is they say, listen, you got to get what you want. I don't want to sell you something that you don't want that you're not going to love because that would actually be bad customer service, especially in the case of a wedding. You know what I mean? You don't want to look back and be like, wow, Kleinfeld really pushed me into that dress. Uh, I respect that. Let's watch Elle King got engaged just 12 days after meeting her fiance. I'm really hoping that that is like a clickbait title. My song, X's and O's, was nominated for Best Rock Song. Okay, yes. I did not know, that's the X and uh, uh, Oh, I didn't know that at all. Okay, that's good to know. This is good information for me. And I didn't win. I respect but it's her. Fine. It's cool. Uh, so it's next year. Walking into Kleinfeld is actually overwhelming. It's just beautiful inside. Can I touch things? Or? I don't know. I don't, know. I don't, know. I just, I don't trust I you. <laughs> you realize what you're there to do and it's so special wow me uh i love that for it's not actually me I, i'm not really a crier but i respect yeah, her. the dress um that you wear to say i do you know to the person that you love and so it's really special i think little me is coming out and when i was little all i wanted to get married Aww. and was a ball gown i still think this is you where's my bride oh hi oh thank you we well, met in London in the lobby of my hotel, Aww. and he proposed 12 days Aww. after we met. My life was kind of crazy, but he's Scottish, so like I'm, I'm enamored. I get it. He just has made me the happiest person ever, and he's my best. I love friend. that. Good for her. Good for him. Phil? Yes. Are you decent? Yeah. Okay, I have a surprise for you. 
<gasps> Hi. Hi, beautiful. Hi. Aww. How are you? I'm good. I'm so excited. My mom, <laughs> when I set the date, she was like, you need to make your appointment at Kleinfeld right now. I rarely get to surprise my mom, but I lied to her and I told her, Randy's not there this week, so. If you come out and surprise them, then my mom will get all like. Oh, I love that. Good. She won't be able to say anything she doesn't like about the dress. I don't think Elle realizes. I deal with meddling moms <laughs> in my sleep. I can just remember. Yeah. It's really, yeah. I mean, it is really intriguing. I like that skirt line on. <gasps> Hi, Randy. Hi, you like the skirt? Yes. <laughs> so tell me, what do you like about it? Randy. I was like, Randy, huh? Hi. <laughs> I love that. I have seen her in so many fabulous gowns. And so how do you top that? Exactly. But also not be like, wait, like not yeah. it's still my wedding. It's still and, wedding. It's and, to be soft and yeah. a little bit more ethereal. I get that. I'm looking at the dress, I'm not looking at you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, I'm just kind of in it. Yeah. yeah. Old Hollywood, like art deco kind of. Thought we were gonna say old Hollywood glam, and I was like, but art deco, I agree. I think the line work is good, it makes sense, I understand it, chic, fitted, you know. No, not, not really, but... Oh, what? <laughs> what? She's tough. Mom. Stan, She's... I respect that. I do like the dress, though, and I like it with the... I actually think it's very nice. And if she was really, like, wow, gooped by it... But at the same time, I don't know. They were, like, trying to, like, tell her, oh, with the lines and blah, blah, And it's like, I don't know, she's not giving crying yet. Considering we've seen her cry twice, I'm like, I want to see the cry. Yes, I will answer that for you. Yes, your mom is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> this is it. Ooh, Aww, good for her. Here. She does look beautiful in the dress. No! Yes! <laughs> oh, okay, so she's crying. Okay. I do like the dress. But the verdict's still out. Me. <laughs> what are you feeling right now? Look at her face. What does that say? Uh, oh, <laughs> she's, she's crying! This is it. Okay. This is the dress. Okay. She started crying immediately. Thank you! <laughs> you had me jump and chip a minute ago. Aww. <laughs> All jewels and it's it's not right. What it's not white. It's. I do really like the little the little headband. It's beautiful. I like the sheer. It shows off the tattoos. Right. Let's turn you around. This looks like her. I can tell in her body and her face. <laughs> oh. It took a village. Yes. You got one left. Oh, I love it. Ah, good. I'm happy. I like the last one a lot though too. Are, Are you, you saying, saying yes, yes to, to the dress? dress? Yeah. Me. Yeah. Good, okay, I'm happy, yay, deserves. Everybody wins, everybody's happy, everybody's content, everybody's living, laughing, and loving at all times. That's important for me. I love you. <laughs> Aww. I found my wedding dress, and it's perfect. Everything I want, everything She's good, I like Al King. Everything I need, and it's me. Good. Content. Well, that is the end of our Say Yes to the Dress video, so let's do a best and worst. I think best, I'm gonna say, personally, I did really like Riley's white, clean, easy dress. I thought it was really nice. Without all the bling and the extra skirts and all that, I just thought it was a nice, beautiful, easy dress. For me, a second runner-up was that second L King dress, because, like, that Art Deco motif in the sequence. In the beginning, I was like, hmm, but it's really grown on me, and I did actually really love it when I saw it with the veil on. But as for worst, I think the Ashley Darby glitter dick is not for me. Some people love a glitter dick. I just am not one of those people. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next video, and TTYL.